on the hills overlooking Bath and the sun you can't see me ah uh, real nice uh, yesterday the weather was shit and today the weather is really nice blue sky rolling hills me you a new year the beginning of something and people with dogs woof Bristol now, we're gonna hop on a bus <laughs> and go to another country, Scotland. We have arrived in Glasgow. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Good afternoon, good afternoon to you. Croft drove someone in Scotland too. And that takes you to Ireland, that way. Yeah. And that way takes you up to Glasgow. I am Christina and I live in Scotland. How did we meet? We met on Daily Booth via a squirrel that liked chocolate. Chocolate. Fuzzy, 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 it's a fuzzy squirrel coming on the back. She's a fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy squirrel. Uh, uh, the fuzzy squirrel was the chocolate, the chocolate. Mushy, mushy, good, the chocolate, the squirrel. Were you feeding the squirrel chocolate? I don't think they're supposed to eat chocolate. Uh oh! It came to me. <laughs> we are now at, at just just above Largs. So Largs is down there, and we are merely peeking over it. It's a really weird sensation to be walking along the beach, and there's like no wind at all, like none. Look at I mean, look at this. It's beautiful and it's warm, and there's snowstorm in Sweden. And I'm here walking in the sunshine. It's 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 really warm. <sighs> good times, good times. As a kid, probably like nine or ten, I skinned stones and my record then was five. I just got six! Okay, so we're gonna try what? Uh, gold milk, it appears to be called. What is it? Um, it's milk. It was supposed to be almond milk, <laughs> but we didn't have that. So milk, turmeric, uh, coconut oil, cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon, pepper, um, pepper, 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 cardamom, honey, nuts, vanilla, and vanilla. It was again. It was supposed to be vanilla powder, but we only had vanilla extract. So, show them the color. That's golden. All right, here we go. Like a curry a lot soup. Of <laughs> a lot of soup. It tastes like it's like a savory. A, like dish. a curry curry soup. Yeah. Yeah, like a, it's a sweet fish curry fish soup. Yeah, it tastes it tastes like it's savory, but then it's sweet. It's not terrible. Yeah. No, no. It is a very cold morning. Uh, we're in Stirling, somewhere between uh, Man uh, Manchester, between Glasgow and Edinburgh, and we're having a photo shoot down by the river. But it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> when in Stirling, why not go to Stirling Castle?
We're on our way to a carnival. Yo, cake or death? Happy New Year, and just be careful out there on the roads. All right, we've been to Aberdeen, and now we're in Inverurie. Inverurie. Yeah, I went to Fiery. Yeah. <laughs> I will drag this into the river and drown this branch. Here I come. I tell you later. Leaving Aberdeen to go back to Glasgow. Glasgow creatures next and final stop for the server. Alright, so we're out doing a photo shoot and it's, uh, it's sunny at one point and then it's rainy at one point. Uh, so right now we're in the Kibble Palace in a park in Glasgow, uh, shading from the rain. But now the sun came out, so I guess we're gonna have to go out again. That was a boomerang. <laughs> 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 boomerang on me. <laughs> 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 yeah, they were happy because we're going to get afternoon tea. <laughs> All right, we have arrived in Manchester. Vivian is over there. And we're looking for the hotel. <laughs> Alright, we have arrived out by the Old Trafford area and now we're just kind of looking for the arena. Alright, we have found our seats and we are on the Sir Alex Ferguson stand and this is what it looks like. Alright, so no Ibrahimovic in this game. Sad face. For a bus to take us to London, which is our final stop on this two and a half week tour of of Great Britain, except for Wales. All right, we are going to YouTube. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Whee. All right, here's the thing. Uh, I have a full day here in London because uh, my wife is at a seminar and she'll be there all day and I'm like, mm, what to do, what to do? And there's risk of snow, Ian, which is like, Whoa! Uh, maybe I go to the zoo or maybe I do something else. Maybe I go see a show. I don't know. The world is my oyster. Do -do 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 -do. Drizzling slash maybe snowing, so I'm not sure that the zoo uh, is maybe the right place to go. Um, but I have something else in mind, which I almost always do when I go to London. Yeah, let's go there. So, you know, it's raining and you're at uh, Leicester Square. What do you do at Leicester Square? You go buy yourself a ticket. So I have. 
I bought myself a ticket to go see Motown the musical. Such fun! Well, it's snowing and raining in London, but oh my god, how amazing was that musical, Motown the musical. <laughs> so many chills, so many laughs, great song. Oh, I am, wow, that was a good decision. And I have plenty of musicals to pick from, but that was a good decision. My, my, my. When I hate you. Oh, so many awesome songs. And I mean, when the Jackson 5 came out uh, and performed, you know, it's, it's been 20 years since I saw Michael Jackson in Copenhagen. But that just was just this, oh. oh. I got sunshine on a cloudy day when it's cold outside. I got the month of May. I guess you see. What can make me feel this way? Very good musical. Oh yeah! It's the last day of our visit to Great Britain! Fussy fussy squirrel eats a fussy fussy coming down the bay. <laughs> Squirrels. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them acting the way they do. Typical squirrel. Ah, attack! I've been attacked by squirrels. There's two of them. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. All right. Picked up the bag at the hotel, the last hotel, <laughs> and we are now heading out to Heathrow to fly home. We have uh, landed in uh, Gardermoen Airport outside of Oslo. Uh, it's a very fun day here. And uh, if you ever come to Oslo, this is how they talk when they speak English. Han knyst en flaske i på en fyr. We're now about to catch our transfer to Stockholm. So one more flight and then we're home. Yay! Well, middle of the month. First day back at work since three weeks. Should be fun. <coughs> Stupid cough. <laughs> All right, been home for a few days. Uh, now we're heading to the very big city. It's one of the most important cities in Sweden called Hamstad. Straw city. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looking back at this someday, at least I will realize that when Trump was inaugurated, my feet were not on this earth. It was an airplane. All right, after I've been back to the office and working for two weeks, uh, I now have five uh, kind of interesting uh, travel days ahead of me. And the first one uh, will be going on now, which is going back to Karlskrona, where I used to live, uh, for a wedding fair that I'm going to be the conference year of. So let's go down there first. Sitting here at the hotel room, um, just keep being infuriated with what the so-called President Trump, aka, aka fucking asshole, is doing. It's every single day he does something that pisses off me, it pisses off so many people. It leads to things that will be so incredibly bad for so many people. You know, the abortion stuff, the EPA stuff, and now the Muslim ban. Which in my view, and I think most sensible people's view, is basically a pure racist thing that goes against so many conventions and probably also, you know, parts of the US Constitution. It's racist and... But the beautiful thing about it, the beautiful thing is that so many people are standing up and so many people are doing something. They're making their voices heard. They will go to JFK. They will cheer for those that get in. They will not be silent. And I think that for everything he does, and he does a lot of things, it's, it's almost hard to, to keep up with all the stupid things that comes out of that stupid fucking pen. I hope that people will stand up and sort between those things and really make your voices heard. So maybe... 
maybe someone in that Republican House and Congress will hear and realize that this is not good. This might be, you know, us basically giving up the president's post for years and years to come because we let that person in. I mean, in my view, just get rid of this stupid electoral system because it doesn't work. It was put there in the occasion that someone was voted in as president uh, where the public was, you know, uninformed. You know, if you're not going to use it when Trump becomes president, what's the point of having it at all? Let the popular votes count. Let every single vote count. Because we can count votes now. It's 2017. I don't mean this channel to be a political channel, but this, we're talking about human rights and humane things. That's something that Trump and his administration is not. They're not. <laughs> All right, just did a photo shoot with that very tall man over there for a, a thingy that will happen in Marchi. Uh, okay, I have about an hour or two left before I have to get my butt on a train to go back to Stockholm. So let's get in because it's cold out here. It is a beautiful sunny day. Sun is over there. Uh, and I'm going to uh, visit the Finnsvångsbruden, a YouTuber in Norrköping and hang about to plan some stuff on her channel and just have a good time. It'll be nice. It's like day three of traveling. But it's also the last day of this month, so the rest of the two days, which will be in London, uh, you'll have to see in the next video. But um, this should be fun. <laughs> hey. All right, so here she is. Okay, so I do have to speak English now, or yeah, oh, speak an English, uh, oh. English. Uh, Here I am. Broke it. <laughs> I uh, can speak Swedish in uh, Ustgötska. Uh, Ust goat, cheese goat. Cheese goat. Goat cheese. In cheese goat. Goat cheese. Goat cheese. Ah, uh, what have we done today? Uh, we've done a Swedish fika. Yeah, <laughs> with hot chocolate. Uh, we talked about music. Yeah, a lot. A bunch of other stuff. And That's personal. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this is actually the first time I'm actually in Norrköping. And, and, uh, and definitely, definitely not the last. We don't know that yet. We won't know that until next time. No. Don't assume anything. Uh, a professor once told me, assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups. And we were like, Okay, yes, go and have a look at Finnsbogsbladen, especially if you're Swedish, because it's fun and so real. So real, yeah. Come on, man. Come on. What's in bar? Oh no! <laughs> no one mourns the wicked. <laughs> The month of January 2017 meant traveling around England and Scotland and seeing old friends again. It also meant traveling around Sweden and especially seeing new friendships evolve. In the next month, we will go back to London, and we might even go further south. We'll see.